iOS 10 has arrived, but the big question is, does their show still work? So, as promised, Apple have released iOS 10, and they're calling it their biggest release ever. But what we really care about is whether Airshow still works. So what I'm going to do is take you through the iOS 10 update process and then install Airshow to see if it still works. Now there's nothing particularly interesting about the iOS update. You tap a few buttons, agree to a few terms and conditions and then wait for it to update which takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It's a 1 gig update which causes some interesting situations if you have a 16 gigabyte device like me, but we'll get it sorted. And that was a relatively painless update, so to confirm we are now on iOS 10.0.1. So let's install Airshow as if it was a fresh program on a device. As usual, I'm going to Savage Pull, the most reliable and trustworthy site to download Airshow. We'll tap the install button and wait for it to install on a device. When it comes to the certificates, nothing has changed. So when you first download the application and launch it, it will give you an untrusted enterprise developer error. And to fix that, it's the same process as before. Go to the settings, general, scroll down to profiles and device management and whatever certificate it currently is, you just need to trust it. So once all that's done, drum roll please, let's start air show. Boom, we're in and it looks to be running. And while we're here, we'll do a quick screen recording. The one thing to mention is that the control panel has changed slightly, so you now have a massive AirPlay mirroring button, but you still tap on Airshow to start your recording, and once that's in, you should get your screen recording, which looks like this. Now, I haven't done any tests on gameplay yet, but we can now confirm that Airshow will download, will install, and it will start recording. Date check, Tuesday the 13th of September, and if we go to the settings, there it is, iOS 10.01 installed. So in summary, you are safe to upgrade to iOS 10.0.1 and install and use Airshow as you did before. I'll continue to do some testing on iOS 10 and Airshow to let you know if there's anything you need to worry about. Otherwise, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more iOS screen recording content, you need to subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.